ChatGPT5 just released and it may have destroyed Anthropic. Just a week ago, it was rumored that Anthropic was raising at a $170 billion valuation. This is significant because OpenAI has more revenue than them and at the same multiples will be worth around a half a trillion dollars. While most less technical people use ChatGPT to ask all their questions, many people have been going to Anthropic's Claude and harnessing its capability to do coding tasks extremely well. And you can see why with just this chart. The huge red line right here is the cost for Claude 4.1 Opus to output code. The prices are measured in cost per token. All that's important is comparing the price relative to OpenAI. And as you can see on the left, ChatGPT5 only requires $10 to output the same amount as Claude 4.1 Opus would cost you $72. And even their other model, Claude Sonnet, would be over 50% more. And it gets even worse for Anthropic. Apparently the model is amazing and Cursor just updated it to the default on their software IDE. And if you don't know, a little bit of background of Cursor is it's a product for highly technical people to integrate AI into their code bases and generate code at scale. They're extremely big and influential, as you can see here, recently raised at a $10 billion valuation with almost all of their use coming over the last year. And Cursor is not even the only one. Windsurf is another giant platform that just implemented ChatGPT5 today. And I want to give a quick shout out to Jason, one of my notable subscribers that invited me to a windsurf event and got me this bag. And then here we also have LM Arena tweeting out that ChatGPT5 is here and it's number one across the board, including text, web dev, and vision arena. So as you can see on the top charts on iOS, ChatGPT is by far the most common AI that people are using for casual use. And with these changes, there's probably going to be a really quick shift where a huge percentage of all developers are going to be switching off of Claude and switching on to GPT-5. So here we have the live stream that ChatGPT just did. And I think honestly, this was the most significant moment right here. You have Greg Brockman right here, and then you have the CEO of Cursor right there. And let's see how they ended this segment. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have GPT-5 and Cursor um, and, uh, you know, starting today. Excited to partner with you guys. And so, yeah, uh, starting today, GPT-5 is default for new users in Cursor, and we're releasing it to all Cursor users, uh, free to try for the next few days, so people get a sense of the model. Um, so you heard it. They're making it the default. That is super, super strong. And in software words, the default means that almost everyone is going to be using it. So to illustrate how impressive ChatGPT5 is when it comes to coding, I want to show you this example that they did in the middle of their live stream in which in basically one prompt, it created a whole system with a game and everything to learn a new language. So I'm going to be playing that now. So here I have a prompt. I will execute it. It asks exactly what I just said. Um, please build a web app for my partner to learn French. One thing to note is that GPT-5, just like many of our other models, have a lot, has a lot of diversity in its answers. So what I like doing, especially when you do uh, this type of vibe coding, is to take this message and ask it multiple times to GPT-5, and then you can decide which one you prefer. So I'm going to open a few tabs. Just going to paste there. Great. So while it's working on it, uh, let's read through exactly the prompt I wrote. Create a And one other piece of commentary I forgot is that OpenAI has their own coding agent interface thing called Codex, and they opted to not even demo Codex. They literally demoed it on Cursor. So that's pretty crazy, showing that the conviction they have working with these major alternative platforms. Beautiful and highly interactive web app for my partner, an English speaker. Uh, to learn French. And then I gave a little bit more details, um, track her daily progress, use a highly engaging theme. Oh, it's already working. I'm going to put it on the side for now. Use a highly engaging theme, include a variety of activities like flashcards and quizzes that she can interact with. And then to make it even more fun for her, uh, I actually asked GPT-5 to embed an educational game, uh, which is based on the old snake game 
uh, but I asked to add a <laughs> French touch to it, which is to uh, replace the, the snake with a mouse and the apples with cheese. And to make sure that it's educational, every time, I know it's complicated, please, please bear with me, every time, <laughs> every time the mouse will eat a piece of cheese, I asked GPT-5 to voice over a new French word such that my partner can practice her pronunciation. I can see how much you want her to learn. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. So, GPT-5 is still working on it. Um, it already wrote 240 lines of code, which honestly is much more than what I would have written uh, in that time. And Yeah, front-end code's super hard. You know, you miss a... <laughs> It would have cost you over seven times as much if you're using Claude Opus, by the way. Couple things and it just doesn't work. Exactly. Yeah. But the good part is that you don't need to understand any of that right now. Um, <laughs> so we'll just let it through. Maybe we can check uh, the other tabs. Oh. oh, wow. So I can simply press run code. So I'll do that and cross my fingers. Whoa. Oh, nice. nice. I really Voila. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, a nice uh, a nice website. Uh, name is Midnight in Paris. Oh, I Learn love together. that. Together, so romantic. Um, we also see a few tabs: flashcards, quiz, and mouse and cheese, exactly like I asked for. Uh, I will play that. So this says le chat, which says uh, the cat. Sorry, le chat. Well, that's pretty good pronunciation. What does that mean? The cat. Oh. So I can reveal and check if GPT five is correct. It is. Um, so if I press next, oh, and I, I don't know if you saw, I think it actually updated the progress bar, which is exactly what I had asked for. Mm -hmm. Let's check the quiz. Uh, here is the word non, which is no. So if I press on no. it, bien joué, which means congrats. <laughs> and uh, it, updated, it updated the progress bar again. Uh, and let's check the mouse and cheese tab. OK, that seems like a mouse. Here's the cheese. Um, I'm going to try to play it. Uh, I'm, can't promise I'm going to be good at it. OK, seems to be working. La gare. Oh. <laughs> Un café. Oh. OK, so there you can see how impressive GBT5 really is. I'm going to make more videos on it, especially for other use cases. I just wanted to publish this now while the web version is still not up. Thank you so much. And the last thing I want to mention is I launched my private community. That's skool.com slash Adrian. Link in the description. This is going to be a paid community. However, I want to reward all my subscribers and let them in on a completely free tier for life. But you have to join now. And please write a complete paragraph of what value and experience you have if you want a guaranteed invite to join the community, and I recommend you do that very fast.